Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. Uh, this is going to be episode eight, I believe, for building uh, most nicely. And uh, yeah, so what you're looking at right here is just a little sneak peek of some of the progress I got done on the cantina. Uh, I actually, as you can read in the title, finished the cantina, except I do have to, you know, swap out some parts for other colors um but yeah so as you can see right there that was the entrance to the cantina and this is just kind of the full layout so as you can see two green with 16 by like 32s on the side and two gray to fill it in and right where this uh sand green land speeder is that's where we're gonna have the luke land speeder where they're kind of getting stopped by the sand troopers uh the you know these aren't the droids they're looking for scene and uh, so we're just going to have a couple buildings, and then Daniel's going to build his 32 by 32 section, and then obviously his massive docking bay is going to be on the right. Um, but basically, this is kind of just all I've gotten done so far. Um, I didn't get any hauls or anything in this week, so basically <laughs> this is going to be the only kind of uh, segment right now. But as you can see, the... Uh, brick with the axle hole in it that's where mine is actually going to connect to Daniel's um, we're just going to use Technic axles I prefer them to using Technic pins because the Technic pins kind of click and it's somewhat annoying to actually connect them in there um, but uh, yeah so basically I'm just going to have a couple buildings on the gray and then basically where the 16 by 32 section is is going to be like a street type deal and then um, yeah, so probably the only people that are going to actually stay where they are right now are the two sand troopers, except I'm going to change out the pauldrons and give them actually brick arms guns. Um, but yeah, right here is the kind of dome, and obviously it would go all the way like around the top and make a full like, kind of circle, um, but because I'm not doing a roof, I'm just doing kind of like the half section of it. And uh, those rings that you see there are actually from a Ninjago set, or actually it might be Marvel. Uh, I don't really know, to be honest, but I just saw them and then thought they would look really nice as, you know, some of the rings on Tatooine. And then we do have some pipes and kind of just some random details and the back door on that, uh, you know, kind of left ish side of the cantina um but as you can see inside the cantina basically everything is done um we got the cantina band got the haunt shot frito scene um we got the wolf and uh astronaut over there um and then obviously the entrance to the cantina we got the droid scanner luke c-3po and r2 and then this weird white and black and gray thing is accurate don't exactly know what it does but uh yeah so um and then we just got a couple chairs and uh booths and tables and stuff like that but obviously as you can see there are some brown and white pieces that i will have to switch out for you know just normal tan and uh this back section right here that leads to the door is uh supposed to be just kind of like a hallway and uh yeah pretty happy with how that came out and stuff like that but uh yeah so this is kind of just the full view of the mock and i'm gonna uh, go ahead and just split it into its uh base plates kind of with the uh technic pins um but uh yeah so it was a little bit of a kind of weird experience um building with it all having to come apart uh, because as you can kind of see on the back there of the cantina, I had to have it, uh, you know, not connect, obviously, because it's all modular. So that was kind of interesting. It was kind of fun, to be honest. Um, but pretty happy with it, how it all kind of turned out. Um, but over in the back here, I'm going to try and have like maybe three to four buildings there. And then this kind of front section will be like a street. And then I'll just have as many buildings as I can fit. Uh, you know, maybe one or two, depending on uh, how much space I actually have. Um, but going in closer, 
you can kind of see there's a two by two tile here. Um, that basically I just had to put that there because of the back of the you know, bar section. Um, and then I just have, you know, tiles on the other side. So it just slides in there. You can kind of see that uh, dark gray thing right there. It just slides on top of that. And that works out pretty fine. It looks pretty nice. Um, and then the one other thing is this, like the top of the door. Um, because the top 1x4 is not actually connected, I decided to uh, just put tiles on the right part of it so that, you know, the door at least is all connected. Um, and then the, it, yeah, <laughs> it's kind of hard to explain, but uh, if you get it, you get it. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, put it all back together right now, as you can kind of see right here. I'm going to push it back together and uh, yeah. So basically um, next week I'm most likely not going to have an update. Actually, no. Next week I will have an update, but the week afterwards I won't because I'm going to a camp uh, right before Brick Fair. So Basically, I have to finish up almost all of my mock in the next week, and then I will have uh, like maybe two days after I get back home from camp to just you know completely finish it and add in any final touches and stuff like that. But um, yeah, so I kind of apologize for this video just being just a showcase of the thing, not actually having any like hauls or. Uh, anything you know interesting to kind of break up the video at all but uh yeah so that's about it for this update and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video